Gentlemen, welcome to the back of the truck for another midnight welder repair. Tonight, Miller Trailblazer 325 EFI. And the EFI is the problem. This thing's not running right. The longer it runs, the worse it runs. It will sputter and idle and then over rev and then idle back down and run for a while and then do the same thing over again. Change the spark plugs, the fuel pump, and the fuel filters. I had to phone a friend on this one. And the next likely culprit is oxygen sensor, which hopefully you can see right there on the exhaust pipe. So usually when diagnosing a problem, throwing parts at it is not too smart, but I have no way of communicating with the ECM. So the only thing I can do is throw parts at it, because I'm stupid. So we have a new oxygen sensor. We're gonna use some high temperature anises on the threads. And we have our special 7 8 wrench because I don't have a special socket. Here's the part number. And we're about to find out if that's the right part number. Got this on Amazon a Ding Dong for, I don't know, 80 or 90 bucks. Special wrench is especially not going to work. Here's a 15 16 oxygen sensor socket. Let's try that. Oh, that didn't work. Okay, so here's a regular 7 8 socket, and we're going to cut one side of it out. Okay, that's stuck. So I'm gonna cut the wire off. I'm gonna cut the wire off and put a regular socket on it to get this one out. And I'll use that customized one to install the new one. Catching that YouTube? It's exactly how you're not supposed to use a wrench. Okay, let's see if it still runs.
Okay, that seems to have fixed the problem. So at 833 hours, it needed a oxygen sensor. So here's the old oxygen sensor. When you're changing your old one, you really don't care about the wire. So you can cut it to get a regular socket on there because this socket wasn't strong enough. Then once you to install the new one, you can run your wire out the side of the socket where you cut the hole to install a new one with. I still don't know what this is for. Must be PFM. <laughs>